the good stuff's here. So, this is the part that is it in the mental health, you know, playlist. But, you know, makeup does help, you know, when you look good, you feel good, and all that whatnot. And I just got the email that I have, you know, full shifts this weekend, which is great. And it happens to be, uh, I really, really liked that project Thursday night. So I'm really excited. And I would like to put like a corny joke in there that like, yay, you know, my shifts are going to pay for this order. But my three hour shift Thursday night paid for this order because this is why I'm a little bit saying it at all. It's a really good price. And I got a really good price because I still have 1000 743 points. Got a good deal. Let's open it up. So, again, anybody who looked at the things before, uh, I have an idea what's in here, obviously. Some of them were like repurchases, and some of them were trying out new stuff. But what I was really, really looking for was new brushes. Here's my receipt, and I'm not going to show it to you, but yeah, good deal. So these are all the brushes I had before, and okay, they're they're all dirty. So I made my own makeup holder. So this is a one dollar glass from Dollarama, and jewels from Dollarama, and you know. So these are my bigger professional ones. Some of them are Elf. Some of them are the ones that I all got them in gifts, by the way. And some are things I got again at Ipsy or whatever. But all the other the ones that I do have, and now they're all dirty for a reason. Because I'm buying, I get new ones. I bought a whole set. That was my thing. You should wash brushes before wearing them, you know. Just like I don't get why people can wear, like, wear clothes from the store without washing them. To each of their own. However, one of these days I probably will let you know. I worked in a secondhand store for a while and I'll let you know why you should definitely do that. But... You know, these are the smaller ones, and and I do have another set coming again, because I I do need these thick, thicker ones like this much. I happen to like cream contour, so and they weren't in this thing, so and quickly. Don't I mean you can pay for expensive brush cleaner or whatever, but if you're like me on a budget, these little egg things. They're a dollar on Wish. Or even Amazon has them for a dollar or something. Baby shampoo. The two of them together, great. They even clean your blue... Sorry. They clean your beauty blenders, too. A little bit of warm water. Some of this around. Soak them for like 10 minutes and then just like run them under water and just keep squeezing. Everything's going to come out. They'll be clean. I mean, so far it's working and I my skin's getting better, so I'm obviously not putting more. All right, enough of that. So not only did I get an amazing price on this stuff, because I, I cashed in a lot of my points to get that. And again, shout out to their customer service, because they're really nice. It took us like an hour to be able to use my points for some weird reason. Maybe because I referred too many people, I don't know. I couldn't cash in my points. So they helped me, you know, um, with the chat. It was great, good experience. So this is what I was really looking for was more brushes because they're they're good and so these are they have like newer versions right and these two over here that I'm pulling out are the the black handle brushes okay so this is a, a stippling brush and this is the highlighter brush they have the black handle so that's like their second one now they have a third one coming out you know they keep improving stuff and they have white and silver handles. But, so this is like their first launch. Absolutely nothing wrong with these. I have a few of them already that, again, I got for, for gifts and whatnot, you know, from them. So I know they're, they're definitely worth it. And that's what I wanted. That was the first thing I was looking for. And it was a dollar each. The white handled brushes, for the most part, on the e.l.f. website are all a dollar each. And then when you go to the black handled brushes, they're usually about three to four, and then the newer ones are like five or six. And yes, I mean, 
the quality gets better. They are improving and whatnot. But there's still nothing wrong with these $1 brushes. Like, well, we're going to open a few because I'm trying to make this short. Um, they come in, like, these cute little packages. Now, I do know the quality of these because, again, Isabelle bought herself a set last time. And she was here when she opened everything up. So, I did get to look at everything. So, this is, you know, the big face brush, you know. So, fluffy, great, you know good quality they're sticking together i i really have no regrets i mean for 12 dollars for 12 really good brushes you can't go wrong plus again they're from elf therefore they're vegan cruelty free which i'm cool with that all right so again this is the blender brush or i don't know Bronzing brush. I like that these don't have numbers because like I hear all the people on YouTube and they name like I'm using this whatever whatever number and I'm like Anyway Second sponge smudge pod. I love this stuff And again, I was in the store looking the other day and a lot of other brands do have you know similar products Yeah, I'm ripping out the now. Similar products of, of like, you know cream eyeshadow in a pot and the prices is like, you know, seven to eight to twelve dollars drugstore stuff. This is, you know, minimal packaging. I don't care. It still works. It's got this is a really pretty color. Can you see it? So I'll show you the one that I had before, the one that I rehydrated. Um, we'll link that video below. So this is like the earlier versions so they're bringing them back because people like them which is a good thing i really like them so that one is the one that i had before and it was called wine knot and this one's called cruising chic so i'm gonna swatch a little bit of both since i rehydrated the second one and uh, they're kind of like i think I mean, i'm not good with the color tones or whatnot but they look like they're the same family of color, just different versions. I got, you know, again, great deal, great price, money off. I also got a free gift. But we'll get to the gift later. So I just really want to get to what I want to get to. There you go, here they are. So, prismatic lip glosses. This is the one that I, I went out. I've ran out of this one. Like, that's... If you watch the other video where I'm talking about money and stuff. Um, that's what I have on my lips. I have the e.l.f. Uh, Stay Matte Stick in Berry Sorbet with the Prismatic Lip Gloss. But, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it's almost empty. Like, there's... It's the bottom of the barrel, so obviously I like it that much. So I bought another one in Amethyst. I mean, I'm not going to swatch this one because I know exactly what it looks like. But, you know. And for e.l.f., like, this is some pretty nice packaging. Again, I'm not complaining. I mean, I don't care if things come in a brown paper bag. If they work, I don't. So this is the Amethyst, again, to replace the one I liked. And I decided to buy Black Onyx because I thought it um, might look pretty neat. So what I'm going to do is, off camera, because I look silly when I do stuff, I am going to put the same, uh, yeah, berry sorbet mat, and I'll put the black onyx on top to see the differences. And uh, obviously, I have a whole video, and of course, I took selfies. So I'll put them up the the differences. But first, let's just swatch it to see what it's gonna like. So it it is like a dark. But what I love about these is. Again, okay, I got stuff on my hand. Let's swatch it to see what it looks like. So, I mean, I know it looks like really black and dark, but that's what I like about the other one anyway. So, I'm giving this one a try. Is that the the back color of the gloss isn't that prominent, but the glitters are, so... Oh, it is prismatic, like a dual chrome. So, it's not really black black. I don't know if you can pick it up because the sun isn't here anymore. That I can see it's got a purple tinge to it that's great oh I think this is exactly what I was looking for so like I said I'm gonna go off camera because I look silly 
in this elf that I had on the previous video. Uh, berry sorbet mat and then with this black onyx as a topper as opposed to the amethyst as a topper that I had before and we'll compare them side to side. All right. Movie magic. So this is the blue onyx on top. So I really like it. It just it's kind of like the amethyst that I love just a little bit darker and it's actually what I thought it was going to be and expected, so I'm extremely happy. Yay! And I'm not really good at putting lipstick on yet, but we'll get there. Um, another thing that I'm super excited about that I was again, you know, this is my third one that I get from them. And it's um the Lip Exfoliator. I got this one in Grapefruit. Yes. So I had sweet cherry. Then I have just the plain sugar. I don't really like the plain sugar one that much, actually. Um, and it's like the original one, though. Because I do find the granules a little bit too big. But the flavored ones, the granules are just so small. that And they are smooth and hydrating. They really, really help with dry chat lips and just to get rid of that. So, I don't know how good this tastes, but if I'm going to compare it to the other two, probably tastes amazing. And this prismatic, it also tastes really good. Liquid matte liquid lipstick. And pretty penny. So, that, like, tip. I love this tip. It gets... It's really thick, by the way. But that's okay, though. It's got... It's probably going to be, like, full coverage one swipe um is it gonna be streaky or not i don't know but like it it's got like you know the metal part that you want but it is matte like it's it's dried not quite quite yet but it will be i give it about another two minutes and we'll see if it's transfer proof i just wanted to get to like my free shipping and free gift so i i got something extra and these are the colors that I like. So we're going to leave the matte liquid lipstick on there. So this is an eyeshadow, but it's like a molten liquid eyeshadow. And I'm really into the, the silver and purple kind there. I don't know what the colors are. I don't know what is in style. I just know what I like to look at. And I'm the one looking at myself. So, hey. Okay. And, yep. Nice, good, like, dofo. Do I don't think, I don't know. So, this is the color. I think it, it will work. I'll tell you why. So, this is the color that it comes out. So, it's a little, you know, metallic-y. It's metallic -y, That's okay. And it's a cross between a blue and a gray. And I would even go to say that it's a little bit, like, duochrome. It, it depends which one. No, it's not. Actually, it's just, you can't make up your mind if it's purple, gray, or blue. You just can't really tell so there's there's that and I'm gonna use you know my clean other elf brush I already have and it'll be really it's already been on my hand for a little bit right it doesn't dry that that fast so you're gonna be able to shape it and put it and blend it around and even at that even once blended like the pigment is really there that is really good I'm super happy with that purchase I, I had an idea that I would be happy with it but I'm actually like more happy than I thought. So extra. So now let's check this box. I like when people just throw things because I throw things. These are my free gifts. I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of things in here. Usually I'm gonna get like three things for a free gift. But there's four in this one. Now they happen to be things that um I have. Not a problem. I have a lot of things that are extras. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just like help someone. <laughs> the internet just can't understand how you would help. Why you would want to help a perfect stranger. Of course I want to help a perfect stranger. So I think I'll just keep my eye out on like, you know, the sites where people are talking about. Um, 
Christmas is coming or, or you know, my daughter's birthday and maybe I'll send it to them. Whatever. So clear lip lacquer. I I already have one. It's, I like it on top of anything. Um oh I don't have I thought this was the concealer. I don't have this one yet. Yes. Oh, I'm happy. Beautifully bare targeted natural glow stick. This is the one I got an Ipsy and it's like almost gone. And I mean, I can't even find that one, but that's okay. This this might work. Let's just compare them. So we're going to take our uh, dollar store wipe and see. So the molten eyeshadow comes off pretty easily. Okay, it's pretty much gone. But that lipstick hasn't budged. So that's definitely going to be transfer proof. Long lasting. I'm scrubbing. I don't usually scrub this much. This one's going to be hard to take off, but that's okay in a way. I mean... Coconut oil, take it off, or you can buy those. Bye bye liquid lipstick things. Coconut oil. Yes, Mel, I hear you celebrating. All right, so let's try this one because I don't have this. I'm super excited. Because, I mean, anybody who knows me knows I love my habit. But, oh, it, it has potential. I haven't done anything yet. Yes. Uh-huh. I like this. And I'm going to compare it to the other one so you see. Okay. So this is this elf new stick that I so far love. And this is the one that I had before that I was trying to replace. Um, yes. Yes. Thank you, elf, for finding me what I did not know I wanted. Oh. You know what? Sometimes... It just works. Super happy. Happy girl. Very excited. Now, this next blush, I actually already have. I have it in this color. And I actually do really like this color. But you have to be careful. It's very, very pigmented. Hi. So, right before my memory card decided to be full, um, it was just the last thing I got in the gift. And it happens to be a brow product. I think I can really do something with this, actually. Um, it's just powder, which is good, you know. For my brows because I actually have them on my face I wake up and they're naturally there but they're really sparse because again I lose my hair I lost my eyebrows I also took the time to try the I just threw it the metal mat and I think I really like it it was a little bit drying and my trick to that is a teeny little bit of Vaseline keeps things going so but again with that thinking of the last eyebrow stuff so I'm fully enjoying this this sugar eyebrow arch arrival brow definer I, I got it in my Etsy but if you look elf has pretty much the exact same thing for two dollars now, how much I like really like this one, but it's like 20 and that's two. I'm willing to take a chance that that one's going to work for $2 because it's two bucks. And so far, you know, I, I really don't have any complaints. So let's just show what we've got. Plus the things that I have for a giveaway and I'll explain some of that. All right. So today's haul. This is the Molten Eyeshadow, which we loved. The Smudge Pot, which we also loved. This was a gift, and I'm okay with that. The matte metal. These two prismatic, I'm totally living for them. This was another gift that I'm super stoked about. It is that uh, glow stick, and I, I love it. And the one, you know, my third Brie purchase, lip exfoliator. Now, these are all the brushes, so it was $12 for all of these. And again... The quality is there. I get. I mean, yeah, it's not a, a Morphe brush or whatever. I mean, not that I've ever seen one in real life, but whatever. For twelve dollars, if you're on a budget, this will definitely work. Now, this are all the things that I have extra that I've gotten in gifts extra. Uh, I do have a couple other things that I've either purposely repurchased because I really like, or gotten in gifts and decided to keep because I also like it. But I have a blush, a highlighter, two lip lacquers, um, a ruby slippers, lip 
gloss and then a high shine red lip gloss. So I'm leaving that in, in here in this video. So, and there's a messenger button on uh, my Facebook. So this is how I'm going to give it away. If you know out there of someone, you know, teenager, you know, adult, anybody that um, could use this for, you know, their personal reasons and it's not something they can afford to get or whatnot, let me know and we will make arrangements as long as you're in, you know, the Moncton vicinity and um, they can have it. I don't need it. So let's share the love and love each other. I thank you all for joining me on this journey. Love. Thanks.